Hi, and welcome to Paintable Tips and Tricks. Today, I want to talk about the four best ways to blend color on your canvas, realizing and creating those beautiful skin for your portrait. Let's go right ahead with tip number one, blending with a soft round brush. Now, the soft round brush is probably one of the most common tool uh, in Photoshop to blend color. It gets really easy with this brush to blend color because it kind of finish in a gradient. So the brush being so soft and so smooth that we'll start mixing the colors just by brushing them on top of each other, realizing those perfect smooth edges everywhere that you need them. Problem been sometimes with this kind of brush is that if you're not careful enough, you're going to start rounding everything and a portrait needs some art edge. If you blend everything with a soft brush, those art edge will just disappear and it will result in your painting as a something really plastic and roundish with no structure at all. You have to be careful to not make it too small as well to make sure that your blending doesn't come to be muddy. Let's move on to tip number two with an art edge brush. Now, blending skin with the art edge brush can be really difficult. The edge being harder than the soft brush, it makes it, e it's make it harder to actually blend the color together. You have to pick up the color and pass a few times to get those mid values in between the two colors. The good thing with the art edge brush is that once you paint with it, it will keep an art edge. So every places on your painting that you need a little bit more structure, let's say, the eye socket or the cheekbone or the nose by painting with the art edge brush will actually keep the structure and the straight edge which will help you at the end result to be able to actually read the portrait better if everything is too soft and too round it's just not going to look like a human face tip number three smudge tool now the smudge tool is really tricky uh, if you don't have the right brush. It all depends on the brush that you will use. Basically what the smudge tool does is moving the pixels that are already established on your painting. It can be really hard in some places because it will not create new pixels. It will only push them away and blur them a little. It's still going to do a great job as mixing the colors, but when it comes to have a lot of control over your edges, it's going to be really, really hard with the smudge tool. And that brings us to the tip number four, mixer brush. Now with the mixer brush, when it comes to actually mix pigment and paint on your canvas, it is really, really efficient. It really works really well. The problem been though, depending on the setting, it can be really difficult to control. There's so many settings that you can have and you can use any brushes that you want. The possibility are just infinite. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of trial and error to get exactly the right, the right settings for you. Obviously, I find, I find my way, which works a little bit more like a smudge tool and gives great results. And that's it. That's my four best ways to blend color in Photoshop. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you want to know a little bit more about each of them, you just have to simply click on the screen right now on the soft, the art, the smudge or the mixer and it will bring you to a video that talks a little bit more in detail about each of them. And if you want to know a little bit more about Paintable and the classes that I'm teaching, you simply have to go on paintable.cc. Hope you enjoy this and looking forward to talk to you guys later.